Welcome back. I'm kind of curious as to what's going on with the solo adventures here. My preparations cannot be stopped. You are it doesn't look like anything has changed. So let's go back to where we now. Last time we played with this pretty interesting deck. Has a lot. Of, it has a lot of new cards in it. Not a lot, really, but a couple. Echo of Madish and Pilot of the Shredder have been like the most notable ones we've been using. Um, Pilot of the Shredder is really, really good. Echo of Mediv is interesting. It's mostly like a combo card. You have to kind of combo into it uh, for it to be any good, right? But luckily, it's only four mana, so it's not that hard to combo into it once you have a couple cards on the field. Uh, we also have Explosive Sheep, which basically we play and then we ping with our hero power to deal two damage to everything. And Flame Cannon, also really interesting. Um, just shoots a random enemy. Generally pretty good because there's not a lot of enemies on the board. Mech Warper, pretty interesting. Uh, mechs cost one less. And this guy, who's yet to be useful at all, really. Also this guy, also yet to be very good. Both of these I don't think are too strong, but they're... But they're small minions that you can play on turn 1 and 2. I can't get my jacket on for some reason. Ah. There we go. <laughs> it's freaking cold in my room now. Which is really annoying because it used to be really cold when I first got here in freaking August. And now it's Jane, like freaking winter. Jane. They were like, oh, we fixed the AC. I was pretty happy. But it seems the AC got apart. unfixed somehow because I'm pretty dang cold. Uh, let's not keep piloted trigger. I'd rather get one of my two drops. Yeah, Megwarper. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, this is the next random is back. That's interesting. Powering up portals online. If he manages to like frost bolt this. Oh no. It's clobbering time. Whoa. Hello. You're interesting. Well we can get a early yeti at least. <laughs> Oh man, this guy, Orgru Brood, 50%, I've seen this guy, haven't I? Didn't he make like all enemies? <laughs> oh no, that's horrible. What? He just smashed my face. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Board control is so important, like, he just, wow. That's a bit silly. Hmm, how do I want to do this? The problem is, when he, he can ping my guy down for spare parts and that might be able to power up his Amani, and I don't really want to deal with the powered up Amani. I wonder. So I might just face this. Unfortunate, but really the best option I could think of. Give a friendly mom a spell. And he owled me. Ah, uh, I'm not too bothered about being owled. Hmm, stealth. When would I really want stealth? Maybe Acolyte of Ping? I could stealth it so that I can get more pings off on it. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'd rather just ping my worgen and play Shieldmaster here. It's almost Flamestrike turn. He didn't use the coin, right? No, he used the coin to get the, um... I don't remember what it was. Uh -huh.
Ah, oh, sounds good. I can ping it for cards, but I have plenty of cards and right now I need damage on the board because I want to smash his face a bunch. And also it would mean I'd play off cor curve, I think. Yeah, because I don't have anything that's three drop. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, Echo Mediv. Ah, but it's not that. Well, you know what? Echo Mediv is a lot better than I first thought it was. So much better. Because here, he can't. As long as he can't clear the board, I can get at least three, maybe four or five cards out of this. Even if he manages to kill something, I can get cards out of this. Is that a fireball? Aww. Oh, no. Okay, so yeah, I totally get so many cards out of this. This is great. This is so good. Oh, yes, Flame Strike? Maybe? Probably. Um. If I Echo of Medivh, that's 4 mana. I can play this guy for 3 mana, and then I Echo of Medivh. That puts 4 cards in my hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If I get 4 I cards know. using 2, then I'll be at 9 cards. And then I can draw. Okay. That's that's okay, I think. Um, I think that's what I'll do as well. 3, 4, 2... I'm not gonna play him because I'd rather flame cannon something and get it off what the board. To do? What to do? My eyes are open. Nice. It's not the target I wanted, but that's okay. Oh! I was gonna hit the. Ogre, but that changed my plan entirely. Yep, there's Flame Strike. <laughs> dude, I'm scared. Oh, I'm so sorry for you, dude. Oh, if you didn't have Doom Slayer, that's amazing. Well played. Indeed. Well played. Pyroblast is just carrying me so badly, but Doomsayer, that is so unfortunate to run into. Uh, if you guys don't know Doomsayer, if the opponent doesn't kill him by the end of his turn, then he just destroys all minions on the board, and since the, his, his board had all the minions on it, he had to clear it. That's unfortunate. Oh man. All right, we'll see. Jaina versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. You asked for it. Ooh, interesting hand. But I don't really want it. <laughs> Do I want explosive sheep? Not really. Do I even want Yeti? Let's keep sheep. You know what? Screw it. <sighs> this isn't really that much of a better hand, honestly. But I guess it works. Ready for action. In my opinion, this card's pretty bad. Like, he's not gonna do anything. Unless I have other minions I want to protect, there's no point in having Goldshire put me out. Early turn three. Okay. So he's gonna be a man ahead of me forever now, and that's going to be annoying.
Ah, oh, rough. I don't have a turn three. Yeah, this is not the best start for me. He has more cards. And that government is going to be dead unless I uh, find the use for it. I mean, unless I get a board, basically. Like, I need to get at least two or three monsters before Echo of Medivh is, like, any good. Where shall I, I guess in theory I can Echo of Medivh one card, but that just doesn't seem too good. Ooh. Ooh. He's not that good, actually. Nice. Aww, aww, aww. One, one. Of course. Sorry about that. <sighs> that sucks. But it happens, I guess. I can't echo of Medivh now, and I guess I can get value out of it. Sort of. Hmm. If he doesn't clear the one, one. <laughs> He's not just gonna clear again. That's a smart thing to do. <sighs> not much I can do here. I can kill it, obviously, but that's not too useful, is it? It doesn't really matter if I kill it, is the thing, because I just take 3 damage, I'd rather- I need to get a board up that's strong enough that he can't take it down. And Mirror Entity might be a very, very valuable part in that. Do I burn and hope for luck? Doesn't seem too smart at this point, but it keeps me on curve. No luck. Aw. So at the worst here I can get my injured blade master with my warlord need a 5-5. That's interesting. Actually, that makes my warlord pretty strong. No! Frick, really? Damn! I think I have the hero power now as well to get rid of the drake. Now is the part where I start running out of cards, and I basically have to just combo whatever I can combo. Holy crap! That's actually fairly annoying. Warlord Mandeep isn't very good. I'm choosing this over Warlord Mandeep because... Um... I think Pilot Shredder is a better card in this situation. I could have actually Warlord instead of using Medivh. 
but the card draw is pretty good. Like, if I had just used my Warlord, I would have gotten... There were, like, what, two other minions? So I would have gotten a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, that seems actually really good. That tree is so annoying. Oh man. Is he- can he actually clear my board? What? Seriously? He- he's gonna clear my board. Cause he can hero power and sludge belcher into my- aww. Damn. Oh wow. That's crazy. Seven seven's good enough, you know. You can complain if you wanna, but seven seven's good enough. <laughs> oh, thank you, cold light. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. What's happening? My God, how many power of the wilds does this guy have? Holy cow! <sighs> okay. How do I want to do this? I can ping that and trade. Or I could just trade, heal, ping that. No, I don't want that alive at all. It's a terrible idea to leave that alive. Yeah, this guy just kind of sucks. Like, there's no point having him, because he's just not useful. Now see, he can trade here, or he can go for my face for 7 damage. And honestly, I think if I was him, I'd rather just go for the face for 7 damage. Because he can probably, like, star call or something and... That's five damage to the face that I can't block. <sighs> or he can wrath. I guess functionally it works. Is the big thing. Let the pain speak to me. If he leaves the Acolyte alive, I can keep pinging it for cards. And maybe I can somehow keep up with this insane card draw. Or he can just silence it, fair enough. God damn. That's frustrating. That's real frustrating. I might even Pyroblast that. And then just trade even. Yeah. That's probably my best option right now. Damn, silencing acolytes really good because that's pretty much all of my card draw. We must cleanse the sunwell. This feels really swampy. I haven't drawn cone of cold. I've got two of my uh pilot treasures. There's one. Very nice. What's most useful to attack here?
probably his face, honestly, because it looks like he's going to run out of cards, and at that point I might be able to take some kind of advantage. Via the fatigue. Oh, that's pretty good. Something needs Where did he come from? Oh, did he just summon that? Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Um... He can trade this so he lives with plenty of health. Oh, he has claw. Dang it. If I can just last long enough so he's out of cards. <sighs> At least he has no hand anymore. Oh, that's really good. Really good. <laughs> that card is so useless. Especially, I mean, I guess it's only three mana, so it's not that bad, but. I think I might actually win, and that's insane. He had two trees, he had the freaking... Actually, he didn't have anything exceptionally good in this deck, did he? Is he just gonna go face with that? Yeah, if I leave that alive, he's just gonna face for 7-8 damage. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to let him... I mean, I can't let him because that damage is so valuable. The frost wolves stand ready. Like, yes, I could get a more efficient trade if I traded these two, but honestly, do I want to take eight damage or do I want to take three? Is the question, and I can just take him out this. Time. Oh, that's unfortunate. Now, can I win? I'm, I'm honestly thinking yes. It looks like a yes. I think I win. That's crazy. Let's get rid of you. Oh, I should have played Tink. The Tinker te Town Technician. See, he's not getting any cards, it's a problem, so I've pretty much won. Yeah. Oh man, that's insane. He can't kill me fast enough. Wow, that is tense. Do we want to go for one more? Let's go for one more. I'm doing ridiculously well, holy cow. I think the highest I've ever gotten is like six, seven wins. So like going four wins with zero losses is insane. Wow. I didn't expect to be doing this well. Ah, uh, that's really nice. That feels really good. Jaina versus Uther. Paladin. I will fight with honor. You asked for it. This is terrible. See what he plays before I play anything. Drag 
No, stupid. Crap. Really? Damn it. Really? Oh, that's the gem from the other thing. That's really freaking annoying, though. Right Shielded mini block. God, that's a good card. That's really freaking annoying because I can't coin or mirror image or that guy gets stronger. Which is really, really problematic for me. Why am I shivering? It's not that cold in your room, dude, chill. I don't think it's that cold. Aw, oh, that's really good. Reporting for duty. Explosive sheep, please. Explo oh my god, that's so good. That's so good. Oh god. That just saved my butt. Wow. Explosive sheep and VP. <laughs> Alright, need a plan for next turn. Mirror image dire wolf is pretty much like a given. I can't target that with hero power though. Um I can shredder mechanical yeti. Thing I prefer mechanical yeti over the shredder right now. Do I mirror image? Is the question? Maybe. Hmm. I think so, honestly. Because I can dire wolf. And then I can get this guy around. And what I can do, I can ping him to get him to a 5 3 and then trade with that. Although, if you have Consecrate, my entire part is screwed. Truth is my shield. Or that. God damn it. <sighs> Let's see, I can ping. Or I can hit that. Get him up to five. Trade that. Summon Yeti. Maybe not Yeti, maybe some in the piloted shredder. Who you want me kid? Oh. Yeti in general is just better here, I think. Ah, oh, that's really good. I have to admit, I was not expecting that. Reporting for duty. That's the problem because then I can't mirror entity into piloted shredder or war golem for that matter. What to do? What to do? I think that's okay. Let's actually trade and see what we can get. Give a minion taunt. It's actually not that good. Why did I trade first? Oh no, friggin'! I messed that up. I messed that up. Oh no. God damn it. If I coin, I have six mana, which I can't do anything with. I wonder. I messed that up. Damn it. I should have played the Frostborn 
and then just traded because the frost one would have been a 5 5, and he could have traded with the stupid 4 3. And that's unfortunate. Yeah. I wonder. Home will be purged. Does he have one damage? Oh, yeah, he does. Does it really matter? Ah. Ooh, I guess it does. For a little while, I got a big punch. At the start of each turn. Oh, that's that's pretty good. Doesn't trigger my entity. Interesting. Interesting. I don't think the warrior has too many spells that do face damage. Consecrate, I guess, does too. I guess he can use Avenging Wrath. Oh, thank you. I too would enjoy Yeti. I honestly kind of just want to go face here. A 11 damage. But he has a really scary board that can probably kill me to do, if I'm not careful. Of course. Oh, <laughs> That's not the one I wanted, but whatever. I can totally get an 8 8 here if he doesn't clear anything. Which it doesn't look like he will. Ooh. Something needs tinkering? The frost will stand ready! I had hero power. Oh well. I'll just hit my opponent's face for a bunch of damage. Actually, that was really stupid, because now he can hit me for five damage and probably avenging wrath and maybe kill me. Oh, I'm an. Although if I manage to go through this turn, I think I win. Interesting. I don't win. I don't think. 
Hold on. I can probably manage to trade two minions, three minions, to kill that. And then the leftover would be the nine, the four, so that's thirteen. And then I can power about. Oh, I win. I win. Thank God. Get you in there for fun. Oh! No. Justice demands retribution. I almost threw that game at the last second. If you had any sort of spell that did damage, I might have lost. I was very lucky on that one. A recent opponent would like to be my friend. Uh, sure. I don't have many. Friends. <sighs> Wait, no. I did two matches, right? Yeah. I think we'll stop the recording here. Thank you all for watching. Once again, my name is Nachum Key. This game is intense. Holy cow, and I got five wins in it. <laughs> yeah, so I think we'll keep doing this. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun with this game in general. I'm really enjoying the new cards. Uh, and we'll see where it goes, so next time I'll see you uh, in a bit, I guess. Bye!